from school to Ipswich to Bournemouth to now being at Villa and playing for England ticked off many things I would have liked to tick off in my footballing career there's still a few more to go but yeah my, my love for the game has never changed I think that's something that you have to try and keep as a player because it is so tough when you're in it every day and there's like I said so many highs and lows if you go right back to like being in the academy at Southampton and then being released yeah I had to step away from the professional game and, and go back to school for a couple of years which was um, probably quite a humbling experience it was tough. I never thought that I would get back into a professional footballer. You just have to have an element of luck and, and be in the right place at the right time and be prepared to take the opportunity when it comes along. My journey has taken me through many different paths and naturally, as every player has, there's been a lot of setbacks. Things can change so quickly as I found out at Bournemouth and I got what was such a cruel injury at a cruel time. If something like a near career-ending injury does happen, what else do you have in your life? I think having interests away from football is what keeps me mentally stable. KTM is an interior design company. Tyrone and I went to the same secondary school and then kind of reconnected in 2015 when he moved down south. When we first started KTM, we kind of had this idea to make the agency something that was really accessible to everyone in the sense of creating designs seemed like a perfect time for us to put our heads together and, and try and do something and credit to Katie and, and credit to the, the team at KTM of how we've been able to manoeuvre our way through uh, through different problems and just learn on the job. Hello. Oh, hello. How are you? Good, nice to see you. You too. My love for property and KTM probably was born from working in the property industry. I don't even know how I got the job as a mortgage advisor, I'm honest. I failed maths GCSE like twice. Uh, <laughs> But clearly it wasn't that important. I think we've built such a good reputation for ourselves. Hopefully we'll be able to spread that out throughout the country. Yeah, definitely. The early days were... It was tough, um, really tough, because the things that worked to our advantage now in terms of being young and dynamic and creative were also working as a hindrance at the start. So we needed people to take chances on us, but we were building a portfolio and it took time. So we naturally had those challenges to overcome. And who would have thought after five years, like being in little old Bournemouth, that yeah, the yeah. company would grow to what it is right now. Sometimes you don't see opportunities coming, but sometimes out of awful situations, opportunities can be born. This is one of our newest projects. So this mm -hmm. is Flamingo, which is a cafe bar bistro. It's very bright, it's very colourful, it's very vibrant. It really helped him to have something else other than football to think about. And he'd turn up to all of our meetings on crutches and, you know, he'd have, to have this huge cast around his leg. But yeah, I think it was nice for him to have something positive to think about. In terms of the will and the determination, I think, just going through life, I think. I think my childhood wasn't necessarily easy or things weren't given to me on a plate. So I think you, you kind of have that instilled in you to find a way. Um, and if one path is blocked, you just try, try and find another route round. It was about a year ago Tyrone suggested that we move into property development. Having been running the company for five years now, it just seemed like the perfect time. I have no previous experience in it, so it's going to be interesting. It's an old, old brewery down in Bournemouth. And the plan is to convert it into three apartments, so it's, it's going to be a really interesting time. Hi, mate. Hello, buddy. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Stuart is a guy who I came across his developments, the javelin block, when I moved to Aston Villa and I was looking for places to live. Just on my way over, mainly just to pick your brains about the brewery development that we got going on. No problem, mate. All right, mate. Good man. Speak soon. When you start off on this, it's you, you, you're not really sure what's going to come, mm. but just be be open and trust the people that are working mm. with you because that's a that's one of the key elements really. You have an idea, and if you want to do something, you just have to you just have to do it and learn on the job and learn as you go along. I think taking risks, I think uh, skills that I've probably taken from football and tried to implement in my business. It's such an important building in that local community, in that small community, that I think when people see that you're doing something quite sympathetic with it, they see something that adds to the community rather than takes away. I think that was also a big part yeah. in 
us yeah. actually being able to get the building. You've got to learn to make changes and sometimes you won't like it and you think mm -hmm. that's going to cost and this, that and the other, but if your eye's right and you believe in what you're doing, mm -hmm. then don't be afraid of making a change. Mm -hmm. I still have other goals that I want to achieve. I want to continue to play at the highest level. I want to continue playing in the Premier League and I continue to add to my tally of England caps. That drive just comes with comes from within. I have a lot of, I guess, self-pride as well. So whether it's something in football or out of football, I have a certain level of standard that anything that my name is attached to, I'd like to maintain. But. I think there are opportunities everywhere we look in the world. There's just sometimes they're masters, there's challenges or setbacks. Just going to say a few words. I'd just like to thank you all for coming. Obviously, we've enjoyed such great success over the past few years, and you guys are all integral and pivotal to that success. So thank you for all the work that you're doing with us. Here's to the future. The things that I've learned in sport have definitely formed me as a businessman. We've we've got to this stage in five years and if we could replicate everything we've learned and the growth that we've experienced in the last five years and do that again, I think that would be success.